Hi, this is week three, and at this point, you should have already listened to the 101 dog psychology and the behavioral, and if you have not, please go back and make sure that you do listen to that. Today's gonna be handling exercises, and so what we're gonna focus on is leash walking. Very important is actually first, before you do anything with the dog, you wanna make sure, and this is whiskers by the way, you wanna make sure that you already have your treat bag on, and behind you is the best, so that the dog does not have something to focus on in the front. A nice leash, which is not a retractable leash, but a regular six foot line, and an, a good collar. Good shoes on your feet. First thing you're gonna do is we usually work with the dog on one side or the other. So even if you're right or left-handed, you need to make a decision. I will be working with the dog on my left side in every segment. But if you choose to have the dog on the opposite side, then you just take everything I say and use it in the reverse. The first thing you do is measure your leash. So we're gonna go ahead and take the handle and you want to not take it and wrap it up like this or wrap it around your hand. This is considered very dangerous and a lot of people end up in the hospital with broken wrists. So you wanna take that handle, put your hand right through it. We're gonna measure the leash. When a dog is first learning, and if this is a, Whiskers is an advanced dog. In the next segment, I'll show you with a dog that's a beginner. But in a beginning training of any kind, you wanna always make sure that the dog only has so much leash to work with. So we're gonna measure that leash. I recommend take your pointer finger or your thumb Place it right under that leash where it's flush, so you don't want to have that leash up as a loop, but down flush, and my hand fist closed so that this extra leash doesn't leave. How do I measure my leash? Well, I want to make sure that I can literally make a J at the end by the collar. So that means if I have all this leash hanging and the dog can go anywhere, that's way too much leash. I can't train him very well. Second, you want to walk up and have a visual of where's a good spot for me and my dog. From the eye to their ear is a great spot to either line the hip or the seam of your jeans, okay, or down by your ankle if I'm walking with a chihuahua. So size is not what we're, you know, you're just measuring them to the side. Then you take your fist and determine how much space do I want them to have. If they have too much space and they're way out over here, they're not going to be able to pay attention to where you go. So again, remember, first make a decision of what's a good visual because this is your safety zone. This is where you'll mark the good behavior. The first thing we're gonna teach is the casual walk. That means that it's not formal. The only thing they are allowed to do though is have a little more space compared to a heel, which is considered a formal walk. The casual walk is just a let's go. So that means if I was gonna go get the mail, or I'm gonna go outside to visit somebody, you wanna make sure it's just a let's go. You're the leader, so your body language is important. Where you lead versus waiting, and most humans like to wait on the dog. And the other rules you wanna make sure is there's no smelling on the way. If you wanna choose that, that's another command such as okay, go play. So when you start out with let's go, you're just gonna say let's go, and it's you moving, you don't wait on the dog. Good. Mark where you like that behavior. You can use that inside hand. Now see how the leash is in my right hand? Good. Good. I really want to reward this. When I get ready to come to a stop, I'm going to set my dog up and place them in a set, which we went over in week two. But again, I'll kind of remind you, when you get ready to come to a stop, always before you stop, set that right hand over to the leash, and that left hand goes down to the spine. These guys are beginners, so you're not expecting them to automatically stop and sit. You want to show them that. So right hand to the end of the leash, left hand at the base of the neck, down the spine and ask for a sit. Good boy. Okay. You always want to end up ending a behavior with a release word or another command you then are keeping everything really black and white so the dog understands that they have to listen for some command for the next response. So let's review. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Right hand, left hand, and sit. 
Okay. All right, now let's review the right turn and the left turn. This is the new, this is the, uh, the turns are actually the turns to get the dog to properly respond. Right turn is what we call our sneaky turn. That means you're not waiting on the dog, you're actually taking a sneaky turn. When a dog is distracted looking ahead or behind or smelling the grass, that's the turn you're gonna take. That's where most parents are complaining that the dog is out in front of me, they're not paying attention to me. Well, you've gotta have first, of course, their name response. You've gotta have their attention. Treats we don't have to use in a leash walk as much as we should for such as the sit. Low, medium, and high distraction is what you've gotta evaluate. When you train this, we train it in low distraction. So again, remember, heel is our formal command. Let's go is our relaxed command. Heel means that you really want the dog lined up in a very specific spot. And again, that's up to you, but you need to be clear, where is that position? Is there a safety zone? It's where you're gonna reward. From eye to ear, fist, you only want them to have a fist between. The right turn is what? It's a sneaky turn. It's the turn to make a dog pay attention. Now, when you get ready to do a ride about, you want to imagine that you're on a, be a, a, a line, one straight line, so that you're not actually making a big wide circle. It's a ride about, just like a ride about military turn. So when I get ready to do that right turn, I check and measure my leash, my hands closed. I'm ready to reward the dog for the proper place they need to be. And I say the word only once. I don't want to say heel, 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 because then I'm training that command, heel, heel, heel. So you want to say whiskers, heel. And it's a right turn. Good boy. Right turn. Uh -uh. Right turn. Right there, he started to smell the grass and go somewhere else. Now I'm doing bunches of short little right turns. You can also do a half right turn, which we call the square. Uh -uh. There you go, good boy. Now I kind of made a big circle right there only because he had his nose in the grass. There we go, good boy. But when you're first starting this, you want to act like you're practicing on a beam. Good job. 